the exhibit floor at ACE 13 with Jim Farmery with Xylem. We're talking about the Type XA underdrain. First, tell me how this is different from prior designs. Oh, Stephanie, thanks for stopping by on our exhibit. Uh, always gives me a lot of pleasure to talk about innovations. Uh, our organization's been uh, one of the first that have uh, focused on gravity media filters over the life of our 90 years in the organization. And, and the filter design has evolved from an area of which we have a cross hatch. Uh, to a diamond design and now we have a new arch design and this new arch design that we've put in here is uh, rather unique to the industry there's nothing else similar to it that's out there today it uh, really helps us make sure that when we put this filter into a backwash mode that we do the best job we can at keeping it clean so that when you put it back online you have longer lasting action so tell me a little more about the benefits of the new design. Okay, Stephanie, as we were talking about, this arch design that we have that's really unique allows us to put more water and more air into the primary chamber. And what that allows us to do is to be able to have a longer lateral. So filters uh, can go anywhere from 10 feet to 100 feet. Uh, with a lower profile, that means the height of the unit itself is now at 8 inches instead of the old 12 inches, we're able to take a smaller lower profile all the way up to 32 feet now with this particular unit and still get excellent air and water distribution. How does the new Type XA underdrain fit into the Leopold filter work system? One of the things that we pride ourselves in is that we're not selling just a particular product for backwashing it only, but the whole components for a filter. When you stop and think about a water treatment plant, the people are interested in putting water through this unit and coming out with drinking water supply. Now, there's a lot of different components within that. Last year, we introduced our IMS media retainer, and the media retainer basically replaces 14 inches of gravel with about a one inch uh, plastic slotted plate. And this allows us, again, to reduce that sidewall effect. So now that we limit the amount of capital required for concrete, the civil works that are involved in that. In the flume area itself, where we have the backwash component of the air and the water coming up into the, um, the laterals themselves, we have a grout-type bridge that seals that flume area so that when you're pouring the concrete, it doesn't go down into the flume. So those are a couple of the unique things that have come up. What will the grout pockets do for the customer? So the grout pocket is attached to the bottom of the unit. It's, a, it's a molded into the bottom of the unit, and it basically fits down into the grout and solidifies this so that we have a much stronger bond and a, a much stronger base laid out on the, on the floor itself. So that now we have an uplift resistance that's three times what it had been in the past. Now tell me about the handle and what that does for the installing contractor. But what we've designed and patented is, is a handle that actually snaps onto one at the one end, snaps onto one at the other, and two guys or two gals can literally pick it up and carry it down. So for safety purposes, it's really made it easier for the contractor to do that installation work. All right, well, that sounds great. Thank you, Jim, right, so much for Stephanie, talking to us. All right, Stephanie, I appreciate being here and able to share this with you. Of course. Great.